Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Melissa and I make videos on luxury, fashion, and beauty. If that is something that you are interested in, then please consider subscribing. Just hit the little red button down below. It's free to you and it helps me out a ton and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. A few days ago, I posted a photo of this bag, which was the bag of the day. If you're not following me over on Instagram, please do so. I do post my bags of the day and I post lots of reels and outfit details and fun things like that over there. This dress is going to be posted over there in a reel very, very soon. You probably have already seen it if you're following me over there. So definitely go follow me on Instagram if you haven't yet. But I posted this bag over on my Instagram and I had so many of you guys DM me about the bag and were interested in what fits and how the size of it and what size I got and what color I got. So I thought that right now would be the perfect opportunity to share with you guys all the details about this bag. Now I have done an unboxing on this bag and I have done a uh, first impressions on this bag but I've never done a true review yet. So that is what we are doing today. So first of all, let me say this bag is heavy because I have all of my items in here. This is the bag that I have been wearing all week long. I have been loving this color, especially now that it's cooling off a little. It's still really hot here in Arizona. We're still in the 80s to 90s, but next week we're hoping to see high 70s and low 80s. And I'm so excited, I cannot wait. But I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm gonna stop rambling. So you can see here, it has a beautiful turn lock closure. It's got the top handle here. This is the Roman stud bag. And of course, it's got the Roman studs all over it. Mine is in the size large. They have a size small, which they recently came out with. They have a size medium, and then they have the size large. To my knowledge, the size large is the only one that you can get with this leather strap. And the only colorways in the size large that you can get with this leather strap is this beautiful brown color and the black. So if you guys are interested in the one with the leather strap, definitely you're going to have to go for the large and you're going to have to go for the either brown or black. The other versions come with this strap. Hold on, I will show you. This is the type of strap that you will get with the other versions. It's absolutely stunning. I've never seen a chain like this, but because I have my rock stud bag in this chain type material, I didn't want to go for another chain like this one. And here you go, you can see it up close. It's absolutely stunning. Look at it. And of course it matches, whatever chain you have matches the hardware on your bag. So don't worry about that. It won't necessarily be this gun metal color, but the chain is beautiful. But since I already have this bag with this chain, I didn't want the bags to be too similar. This one's got the small studs. This one's got the large studs. And then I opted for the leather strap on mine. The bottom does not have any studs or any feet, which I absolutely love the stud part because if there were studs on the bottom, they would have to be flat studs. Otherwise, they would not balance on these pointy studs. And then of course you have the studs on the side, you have the studs on the back, and you have the studs on the side. So first I wanna answer the few questions that I got DM'd to me on Instagram. The first question is, do the studs hurt when you're wearing the bag? I think that is a very valid question. No, the studs do not hurt at all. I don't even notice it. Even when I'm wearing thin clothes, I don't notice it. The leather strap doesn't have anything poking through. You can see there it's nice and smooth and round. It even pushes into the leather so they're not poking out. You can't feel those at all when you're wearing the bag. And then you can wear it, of course, top handle as well. So no, the studs do not hurt at all. The next question that I got is what size did I get? I got the size large, as I mentioned. The medium is a, quite a bit smaller. I'd have to guess about, that's actually the medium. The, the rock stud that I have, the rock stud bag is the size medium. And then there is one that's a little bit smaller than that as well. So mine is in the size large. The next question I got is what color did you get? And I don't remember the name of the color, so I will pop it up on the screen for you guys. 
um, but it is in the grainy calfskin leather. So it's not the smooth leather, it's grainy calfskin and it's got the hammered gold hardware. It's not a smooth gold hardware. So if you look closely, you can see the grainy calfskin leather. And then of course that beautiful hammer gold, which I think is absolutely stunning. The next question I got was, does all of your essentials fit inside and what fits inside? So those were two different people. One person asked, does all my essentials fit inside? Easily, all of my essentials fit perfectly inside. inside. And then someone else asked, what fits inside? So with that being said, I'm gonna show you guys what I carry inside here. More can fit in here than what I actually carry in here but I thought it would be nice to know what I actually carry in here. So when you look inside, you can see, let's do a little close up, all of my belongings. Look at that beautiful suede, you guys. Isn't it stunning? Like the color is just delicious. Oh, okay. Okay, getting on a rampage here. We're falling in love with the bag all over again. So inside of here, you can see all of my belongings. I am gonna pull them out, but before I pull them out, I wanted to note to you guys, how perfectly, hold on one second. How perfectly my key clay and my card holder fit inside of the two little slots inside of the bag. So you can see there, there's my key clay, there is my card holder and they fit perfectly in there. So I never have to search for them. I always know where they're at. And I love that key detail. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pull the items out and show you the best that I can. I've got my sunglass holder here. This is by Ray-Ban. It's a pretty slim uh, sunglass holder, but it's not very, it's not too slim. I've got my card holder. This is for my kids' insurance cards and important cards like that. And then I've got my little catch-all pouch. This has all sorts of things in there. Makeup, perfume, lady products, hand sanitizer, all of those fun things inside of there. And then I've got my headphones. Usually my headphones are inside of my bag, my little catch-all pouch, but since I was using them, I just threw them back in there because I was in a hurry. And then the only other items I have are my key clay, which slips right into that pocket. And then my regular card holder, which slips right into my that little pocket there. So quite a few items fit in here and there is plenty of more room to fit more items if you need them to. And the last question that I got is how does the strap with the leather strap, how does it fit across your cross body? So I'm going to pop in some mod shots right here for you guys. For my height, I am five foot six for reference. I weigh about 155 pounds. I have a 34 triple D bust. And the only reason why I'm telling you guys all of this is because all of that matters. Your width matters, your height matters as to how the bag's going to fall on you and your body frame. So for me, it can be worn very comfortably crossbody, but it is a little on the shorter side. So if you are shorter than me, I feel like this is going to fit perfectly crossbody on you. If you are taller than me, if you are taller and more slender than I am, then this definitely will fit on you crossbody as well. If you are really, really tall, it might be a short crossbody, but I, I don't know. I feel like the strap is long enough to fit on most people crossbody. Now here's the thing, I absolutely love the length of the strap. Even though it's a little bit short crossbody, I love it because it is a perfect shoulder height for me as well. I find that most crossbody bags can't be worn long shoulder and this one can be worn both ways as you're seeing in the little try on portion. And then of course you can wear it top handle as well. Those were all of the questions that you guys had asked me. If you have any other questions, please pop them down in the comments below. I would love to answer them for you. But I wanna go over a couple more other things that I thought might be a question for some of you guys. So wear and tear. I've only had this bag for I'd say about six or seven months now, and I haven't worn it a ton. I've probably worn it, um, I don't know, I'd say about 15, 20 times. So wear and tear is, there is none. There's absolutely no wear and tear yet. The uh, quality is substantial, you guys. Valentino bags, in my experience, have some of the highest quality, especially in their hardware. There's no scratches, it's absolutely stunning. I don't know why they are so low on the YouTube community because 
they're they're beautiful in my opinion but now I'm, I'm getting off track here wear and tear i haven't had any wear and tear yet i don't suspect that i will with my valentino rockstead or rockstead yes rockstead it has none there's zero wear and tear and i've had that bag for almost two years now and i wear the heck out of it i absolutely love that bag um the corners are absolutely stunning i will show you guys absolutely no wear and tear at all a couple other things i wanted to mention a water bottle can fit inside of here a large wallet can fit inside of here a bigger pouch can fit inside of here perfectly fine no problem it is a little bit on the heavy side i wouldn't say it's a heavy bag but it is heavier than most of my bags it because it's all leather, it's got the hardware all over it, and then it's got the suede interior. It is a little bit heavy, but I don't mind for the quality of it. I, it being a little heavy is not a big deal. And the fact that I got mine with the leather strap, it doesn't bother me whatsoever when I'm wearing it out and about. I have taken this bag out shopping, felt perfectly fine. It was comfortable the whole shopping trip. As far as cons go, I have to be honest with you guys. I really don't have any cons yet. This bag has been very comfortable for me. I love the size of it. I love how much can fit inside of there. I love that it's just a little bit bigger than my other bags. Um, the color, I had to, it had to grow on me to be honest. I really wanted the baby pink. I'm glad I went with the brown. I cannot wait to wear it with outfits like I have on today. I think it is the perfect accent color, especially for those earthy tones. So as of yet, I don't have any cons to share with you guys, but I will do an updated video in a year or two, or a year, probably a year, and let you guys know any cons that may have come up after that point. The last thing that I want to mention is whether or not I recommend this bag. I often have people ask me over on my Instagram more so than on YouTube, do I recommend the bag? So this bag, I believe is $3,800 right now for the size large, which is a hefty price tag. But as I mentioned earlier, the quality is no, it's, it's so good. It's so durable the leather's door durable it doesn't have any scratches the hardware never scratches or at least in my experience so would i recommend this bag absolutely 100 percent, i would recommend this bag and i do feel like it's worth the hefty price tag let me know your thoughts on this bag down in the comments below but before you run off i'm going to have a video linked here and here for you guys to check out next and until next time bye guys